Today we show you how you can change the effect or the texture of your material in real time. So we will change for example the color of your material during the game. So for example at the beginning it is green and during the game it changes to red. And now we will do something like that. So first of all you have to create a normal material. So just do a right click onto a texture, then create new material and add your textures into it. So just add this one here, then hit dirt and of course a dirt normal map. Ok now in the material editor we have to add a lerp node, so press L, left mouse button and we have to connect it with base color, so just move them away here and then we will connect this lerp here with the base color. Then up here at A and B we have to add our textures, so just drag and drop this up here and this one here. Then we will connect the grass texture, so the base color with B from the lerp and the dirt texture, so the color which will change during the game with A from the lerp. Now at alpha we have to add a parameter, so up here type in param and just add a scalar parameter. Now type in a name, for example test power and then connect it with alpha. And in the value of the parameter, at default value, type in 1. So as you can see now, the texture is our dirt texture. When we type in 1, it will change to a grass texture and later on we will do that with matinee. Ok, so that's the basic setup. Now with matinee we will change this value here to 0 so that the dirt texture will show up. Ok, now we have to do the same with the normal maps. So just copy this one here and connect the lerp with the normal. And do it the same as above. So we'll connect this one here with B and this one here with A. And at alpha we will add our test power param. And that's it, you do it the same with all the other links that you can see in here. So you could do the same with emissive color, with roughness, with specular and so on. And you can add various effects to this material. But now we'll just keep it simple, so I will just click on to apply. Now we just have to add a static mesh to our level. So I'll just close this, then we'll go up here and there we'll just add a wall. Now in the properties of the static mesh make sure that the mobility is set on movable. Now go back to your material and then drag drop it onto your mesh. Ok, now with the mesh select, go into matinee and then click onto add matinee. Now in here we have to create a new empty group, so do a right click, add new empty group, type in a name for example test and then press enter. Now select your mesh, then do another right click onto the empty group, go to actors and then go to add selected actors. Now do another right click onto the empty group and then just click onto add new float material parameter track. Ok, now we'll just zoom out a little bit and I'll put this one here to the max. Ok, now set the first keyframe, so press enter and then go a little bit forward and set the last keyframe and another time enter. Now click onto your material parameter track and up here you can see target materials. Here we have to add our own materials, so just click onto the plus, then go to a material and add it here. Then under parameter name, you have to add your parameter name that you have gave to the parameter before. So we just open up my material. And in here we see I've named it test power. So we'll just copy this one here. Then we'll close the material editor. And I will add the name to parameter name. Ok, and that's it. And we just have to click onto this little arrow here. So just do a right click onto it. And then you just have to click onto set value. And there we will set it to, let's say, 1. So grass. Now we have to do another right click onto this little arrow here. And then choose set value and put it to 0. And as you can see here now, it changes from green to dirt. And you can do that with every effect. So you could also add a missive so that at 0 it doesn't have any emissive and at 1 it has some emissive. So you can do that with every effect, but I will just show you the basics now. Ok, now close this, then open up the blueprint, so the level blueprint. In here we have to add our matinee actor, so we just have to select it in the scene outliner and then we have to do a right click into the level blueprint and in here type in play and then add a play node. And then you can add any event you like, I will just add a event play begin now. So do a right click, add event and then event begin play and connect it with play. And that's it, now it should change during the game. Let's see.
play from here. And you can already see here, it changes from green to dirt. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and until next time.